The love between Soren Kierkegaard and Regina Olsen is often cited as one of the great love stories of history. The intensity of their correspondence, which consisted of over 1,000 letters, has been compared to that of famous literary lovers such as Abelard and Heloise, Dante and Beatrice, and Goethe and Christian Vulpius. Soren Kierkegaard, the Danish philosopher and theologian, had a brief but intense love affair with Regina Olsen, a young woman he met in Copenhagen in 1837 when she was just 16 years old. Kierkegaard was 25 at the time. They fell in love and began a passionate correspondence that lasted for several years. Their relationship was marked by its intensity, with Kierkegaard pouring out his heart in letters to Regina that were filled with philosophical musings and declarations of love. He often used their relationship as a metaphor for his philosophical ideas, writing about the tension between the individual and society, the struggle for authenticity, and the search for meaning in a world that can often seem meaningless. Regina, for her part, was a source of inspiration and comfort for Kierkegaard, who struggled with anxiety and depression throughout his life. Her love and support gave him the strength to continue his work as a philosopher and theologian, even as he grappled with his own inner demons. However, despite their deep connection, Kierkegaard and Regina never married. The reasons for this are not entirely clear, but it is believed that Kierkegaard's own anxieties and insecurities played a role in their decision not to wed. On August 11, 1841, he wrote, Something spectral about me something no one can endure who has to see me every day and have a real relationship with me. Namely, Kierkegaard was deeply committed to his work as a philosopher and theologian, and he may have felt that marriage would have distracted him from his intellectual pursuits. He may have felt that his own struggles with anxiety and depression would have made him a difficult partner to live with. In addition, Regina's family may have been opposed to the match, as Kierkegaard was not seen as a suitable partner for their daughter due to his unconventional lifestyle and reputation as a controversial philosopher, but it is very unlikely to be the reason they separated. Despite the fact that their relationship did not lead to marriage, Kierkegaard and Regina remained in contact until his death in 1855, because she knew him very well and accepted him as such. Kierkegaard continued to write about love and relationships throughout his career as a philosopher, using his own experiences as a source of inspiration and insight. Today, their love story continues to inspire and captivate scholars and readers alike, as a testament to the enduring power of love and the human spirit. Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed being reminded of this immense love between Soren Kierkegaard and Regina Olsen. Until the next podcast, take care.